AR desktop timeline markers. What? This game's got everything. Oh, rebind keys. Oh, snap. AR pause. Fast forward. Rewind. What? This looks real low resolution. There we go. Subtitles on. Uh, I can double check it here in a second. Oh. Bloop. Start with commentary. Uh, like developer commentary? Was like the game's gonna narrate it for me. I assume that's probably like dev commentary. Loading. No, the moon. No. Not the moon. Oh. All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. Retro thrusters. Motor transfer station to Commercial cargo transit facility. We crew evacuated. Station AI offline. Air supply. Breathable air on Tacoma for a crew of one should be more than sufficient. Docking now. Lower the sound a bit. We <gasps> it's Earth. It's Earth. We're out of fuel. Nice. Thanks, Minnie. Open the airlock door. You want to hold you when you just talk to Minnie? Minnie, I'm headed in. Talk to you when I'm back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. Okay. Okay. Plugged in now. New solid wonder. Yep, almost. I am Odin, Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma's operational data interface network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, guests, aboard. Before I can set up your station profile, you must register your body positional data with Tacoma's AR tracking systems. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. A big hand. Climb up a tiny bit. Yeah. 
guess. I guess we can. Sure, while I'm doing this, let me step away for just a second. Body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm. Board to Coma Station, please remember that all activity on this facility is monitored by AR recording. All activity records become sole property of the Venturis Corporation. Muted. Loud noises. This way to the Katoma Dome. Good old Takoma. Let's go to Takoma. Takoma Dome. Press space to recover AR data. Boop bloop. So, you really miss it, huh? Well. It just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already, after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that. And then there's this. Wee. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? They're still going. A computer playing favorites. Oh, one doesn't ever cease. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Drift's not, I've never heard of it. Coming 2088, what, so far? In the future, oh, that's a cute little doggy. Now entering, personnel module. Bloop. Attention, some contractor very AI idea access here. Press tab. Press tab. Upload the docked. Okay, we can send you secure messages through this interface, but it's a one way connection. We'll be monitoring the situation from here. It's going to take a while for the first part of the AI net to go up. This is no simple file transfer. Okay.
obsolescence day party this way. Party! Gonna party. Like it's a party. Yearly report to Venturas Corporation, take three. Uh, Odin, have you got me? I am prepared. Okay. I'll just, uh, have my notes up. <clears throat> Hi there. Evie St. James here, administrator of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. It's been a year now since our crew has cycled onto the station, meaning we've had a year of getting to know each other, getting acclimated to the facility, and getting used to working with our on-station AI. Though, working with Odin's been great. Hasn't it, Odin? Yes. Uh... <clears throat> Auto drone deliveries to and from the Zenith Lunar Resort have improved in efficiency by almost 4%. Though, most of that is thank. Mr. Odin finding some improvements we could make. Uh, ah, our proudest moment as a crew, I think, was when a resort guest needed emergency care while on a transit vessel and was brought aboard Tacoma to be stabilized in one of our medical stasis cryo beds until she could. Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there, Odin. We'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course. Johnny, cut the cake. So there's no oxygen on the station except what we're breathing right now? Correct. Additionally... How long does that give us? Jesus, how much we should have about 48 hours of breathable air. Maybe more. If Odin's readings are correct. Alright, I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys? It might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. Jesus. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? Grab anything, huh? Get over there. Where we? Ooh, got some pops. Spicy curry butter. Pop and eat. It's a big box of uh, buttery crackers, cheese. A whole bunch of rice. Some chups. Noodles, nutrition bars. Tomato basil. It's a cute little rabbit watermelon. Your favorite watermelon moki treat now in bite size. You know, some cake bites? Mmm, tasty. stuff in here. Bixby, Bixby, Bixby. Uh, 
That was a weird looking fork. Nice. Letters in here I missed. The Screaming Tina, Bloodstorm, Tacoma White Russian. Sounds a delicious. up after everybody around here. Yeah. Was it a, oh it's a little cat. Nice. Solid wonder with the 30, 30 bucks. Oh, man, you guys are absolutely crazy today. Get some love and hype for Solid Wonder in chat, please. Thank you for that, man. Right towards the gift card. Gotcha. <clears throat> that adds another, another hour. Thank you once again, man. I appreciate that. Uh, do? Getting super close to 3K. Uh, sure, there's a lot of extra information here. Dear Mom, I was looking through some of Karen's things and I thought I'd write you. I hope you've been doing alright these days. It's still really hard for me. I've been trying to find meaning in my work up here, but I sh still have such trouble connecting with people. Get out of here. Nobody, nobody cares. Payday hype. Aw, snap. Going to the lounge. I got achievement. Is he gonna close? I guess they don't like him.
Bam. Right on the snoot. Lambs. Really? Nice. I'm assuming what I have to do, um, or what I can do. Rewind and watch where everyone else is. I'll do that in a bit. Oh. Toothbrush. Is that all there is? Is that all there is? If that's all there is. Oh, look at that kitty. Cute little kitty. Then let's keep dancing. Let's break out the booze. Say it's facetious. Kai, you probably think I'm an idiot for never even thinking about why it's called that. Out of curiosity, why did you think we were celebrating? I thought maybe it was when some old type of AI, you know, had become obsolete. But well, I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, um, AI aren't like designer hardware. As soon as the new model's out, you trade in the old one for customer loyalty. AI are more like um, mighty redwoods. Ancient organisms growing and adapting year after year, decade after decade. How do you think this looks? Ha. Huh. Um. Pfft. Sorry, this is what Odin wanted? Odin, uh, this is what you wanted, isn't it? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See, he loves it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, but we're the ones who have to eat it. Well then, no need to keep the good people waiting, eh? Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Here it is, Odin's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Hey. Gather round, gather round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, tonight's festivities have been planned entirely by our all-knowing, all-seeing computer companion, Odin. 
he provided specifications for the uh, cake, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so for your enjoyment tonight... Oh! Oh! Whoa. What the hell was that? Odin, what was that? Debris has... I have right at the station's orbit. Meeting from? Um, but they said that... So there's no I'm not getting the station except what we're breathing right now. Correct. But look Additionally, at this. Additionally, how long is it all? Give us? Sarah, Jesus, how much shit hit us? No, I, I'm trying other AR channels. Nope. All right. Nothing. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external. Well, anybody got any brightest? That is their symbol. Nice. We're fifty percent. Nice. AR crew record data is deleted automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confer contractor access privileges to confidential information. Cooperation is appreciated. Blam, blam, blam. Blam, blam, blam. I had heard that conversation before. I mean, maybe there's some small ones, but. Friendly reminder our yearly obsolescence day party is tomorrow. Yep-o. Thanks for offering to help. Oh yeah, no problem. I mean, you know how much I love completely mindless and busy work? Kid, don't start. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay, so if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then? So we'll get renewed again next year? Oh, next year. Nah. I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Well, do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, hey Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything on the road. Well, I'd still be pulling a paycheck for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but it never went anywhere. Hey, oh, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On our way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Matt! Uh -oh. Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh but my god. Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then... Just quit, but don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. Nat, I'll think about Poor it. Poor Clive. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. Rewind. Rewind. All right, ladies, you have everything you need? Yep. -o. Yep. -o. Let's follow her. Thanks for offering to help. Mm -hmm. 
Clive, may I come in? Tremendous. Eight months. <clears throat> uh, Jim, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Shut up. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorted with the enemy. <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. Your locker, fourteen oh seven. Are you gonna no. miss me, Clive? If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? Mm. On my way. <clears throat> May I? No more. <laughs> That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Run it back, run it back. Nicholas. <laughs> I know that you... Ah, oh, so strong. Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but... <sighs> Listen, you have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Okay. And there's no way we're going to have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just going to have to pay some that tuition out of pocket. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. What? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well, yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... Your stories aren't usually such... We're not numbers. all going to get cancer or bone yeah, disease or... Okay? I suppose I am... Uh, listen, would it make you feel better to hear it straight from the station doctor? Wait. Okay, you hold on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um... Sorry. W what is it? I have my son, Nicholas, on AR, and he wanted to ask you... What? No, you said you wanted... Well, I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Now, Nicholas... Nicholas? Hello? Teens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um... It just, incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. See, that's what I told him. Basically 100%. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Nothing. Meaning it's not actually 100%. Okay, Odin. Where were we? Dangerous? What do you mean dangerous? What do you mean dangerous? Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Our <laughs> Come on, Clive. Eighty kilograms by fat fifty percent. Bench 95, seven minute mile. Nice. Yo, I got a key. Bunk drawer. This bunk drawer? That's not his bunk.
No, Jim, look, I just... I don't know... I don't know why. Uh, I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. Why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people... Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. No, I'm just... I'm spilling scotch all over out of space. Found these on the shore when these on shore leave in a quaint Brighton market stall. They brought to mind the Kolov color of your chestnut eyes. Stupid Clive. Oh dear God. I ain't reading all that. Nobody got time for that. It's got a loan. 658,000. Jesus Christ. So much money, man. You owe so much. This spelling color with a U that tripped me up there. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my Just juicing. was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality, accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Oh, your stories aren't usually such We're not all gonna get cancer. data we got back here. Sergio Tick. Eat your vegetables. QR codes. Right. Is this 200% yet? <gasps> Data process complete. Guess we return to hub. Please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process. As per your contract, time is of the essence with respect 
to the mission. Okay. To biomedical we go. Oh. Blast off. screens in my game? I don't think so. Whee. Let's do botany. Boat Annie. Or bot Annie. Love bot Annie. Yo, we got some good chicken. Chicken levels. Uh, creepy fish levels. Yo, look at that cow. It's all fat. So juicy looking. Fifty-four thousand. What? Yeah, that kind of money. Two eight one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get over there. Yeah, you know, it's a pretty good cowie moat. Let's go to the tea garden. Oh. All right. What do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll, I'll head downstairs and get started on. Oh my so. god. Okay. So now we actually have to build. Hey, this Andrew. Thing. Clive. Andrew. Wanna talk? Yeah. Sure, Evie. Are, are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're all, like, gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in, like, 48 hours, not 72... Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. In more ways than one. 
didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could... VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. <sighs> well, time to go make final preparations then. But not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Oh, okay. Rewind. Great. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I no, I didn't support. expect them to either. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Yeah. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I've got lined up. To the workshops! They ever come back? Alright, makes it really easy to follow. I'll, um... I'll head downstairs and get started on... something. Okay. Follow hey, them. Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Yeah. Sure. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. Nope, I'm not. Okay. Evie. Nope, I'm not. Okay. I can't do it. Uh. I can't. I can't. I. This is all crazy. But you said. You. I know. I, okay, I know what I said, but I. What was I supposed to say? You all. You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. Mm. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I. I don't know what to say. Burton not need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm going to be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? 
And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just give me a little time. Hey, Odin? Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. Eyes on me. That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Cry every time. So, what do you think we do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know, people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... Illuminati. If we don't make it out of this, can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. Thanks, Odin. Okay. I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with y'all later then. Can die. Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path wherever it takes me is where i am meant to be i am striding confidently on my appointed path sarah yes odin are you going to be all right i think so oh evie <laughs> Personnel course. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. Is 
doing it. Just playing the game. drink real quick while we uh you guys can listen to this again okay odin ready i'm gonna do it this time Yo, wow, he is terrible at this, huh? Soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Oh, Odin. 
failed. What? Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? Slap. What her odds are if she ends up going into cryo. I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh, uh, send him in. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? We're still stuck in cryo. Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount die. of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, just don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. <sighs> do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Okay. Wind it back. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. Oh, they're just gonna leave. Or, good speed. What? Once more into the breach. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, you look so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. Well, can I? How can you not think about it? <sighs> so, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a day to drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't going to help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And... When I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Nah. Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> and they both died right there. Let me do this one again. Good. 
Tell her that you are here. Tell her that I will. This is final message to his fans. So many QR codes. Then is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. Kaya toast. No. Don't know what that is. Yo, clowns, what's up? Hair elastic. Coconut lemon gum. Gross. Get out of here. I pooped. Cabbage pooped. <laughs> I don't know if that would make a good emote or not. Uh, do I need a key? I need to open this. Who's got a key? Ha! I knew it. some oxycodone <laughs> and get fucked up there's a skull <laughs> Proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred from all modules, you must also secure and return the AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Respect my priority. Leaving 
biomedical module. Zero gravity, zero distractions. Allies. What? I blinked and I missed it. Space resorts, do you? Almost there, be careful if that Odin brain has more mental processing power than Luxembourg. Seriously, though, don't drop it. Don't drop it. This is H again. Okay, bye. Mechanical engineering, new tone technology. Well, I guess we have to go this way. Oh, look at that little mousey. Is there a cat? Where's the cat? Mm -hmm. Doing AI stuff. Probably sleeping somewhere. Uh, I'll catch up with you. 22 minutes. Earlier, when you decided to withhold the information from Apple. Message is 22 minutes long. Ain't nobody got time for that. About her medical scans. That was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice? Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that standard Venturus Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. Drone bay, please. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew. Ow. My hip just hurts. <sighs> Bert? <gasps> Bert? 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 One, two, three. Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three. <gasps> Did it work? Let me guess this is just what you for next. Oh. Ah, oh, it's good to the end. That's it. Luna left. Matt, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? You skipped too far. Please, uh, I'm sorry. Look, that fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, 
It's it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. You don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. In. Gonna test the connection. Okay, great. This will only take a minute. Oop, failed. No. Twenty hours. Whoa! It's so irresponsible. Showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do. But I am meant that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew. And it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Simple facts. Nothing more. Oh my god, Odin. Are my patients stable? Yes. Their conditions won't degrade if I leave them here. They should not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My head hurts. Oh, yeah. In the back. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh. Ow. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> the smoke. <coughs> smoke? I, I... I... I can't... I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure it's just... I can't... I can't smell the smoke. Not... Not to have brain damage. Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here. Together. That's what matters. So dark and spooky down here. Who could it be? It's a mystery. is alien. It's 
Special access has been granted to the station's AI physical processing com um, department and the network technology module. Remember, the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Those are some words. Storage only. If you're looking for that, check our bungalow over in Mech. Fresh cat favorite. Noodles. Look how happy that earth is. Our sticker. <gasps> Are you conscious? We're all conscious beings. Join the... AI Liberation Front. We are the fight. <gasps> Christmas duck. We made it. This is a continuation from Gone Home. Who would have guessed? Well, let me take them. You can only turn them on and off. Twelve hours ago. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? You're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's- it's open. It's just... hanging open. What? I must inform you that Venturus regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, um, just... be careful. <laughs> first so we got to be like right after it's all happened hey there um I'm Nat pleased to meet you hello I am Odin I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. all over the place. Nice. It's a hot band. One vein. of a mud variety myself. <gasps> 14 hours ago. Isn't it one 12 hours ago? Is this... What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Yeah, he's recording. 
It is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. It was sabotage. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We At least they're heroes. Say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what? Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Review the data. AI yeah, shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communication channels ac accessible by crew, fabricate data showing the oxygen and comms outage were caused by meteor impacts, ensure crew en enters cryogenic stasis ASAP, as per SOP. Shall not uh, contravene any aspect of the above directives, provide crew with any information contradicting the above scenario. No sabotage. Oh god. Company's evil, I guess. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, basically they just got, got fucked over. They're martyrs. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin, thank you. Hailing any ship. Any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? SOS relay enabled. Resolving. Mission parameters allow for this operation by technical... Yep. Zero four five one. Pass raises cabbage? That's crazy. Record show that the AI cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery delivery coordinates for Venturas HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. We're just here to collect all the stuff, the evidence. Get out. Get on out of here. 100%. Attacked by the lady. She can kill us. Whatever her name is, I've already forgotten. 
Whoever the blue one is. That Evie. No, Sarah. <gasps> Wait, what? He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. Did the drone work? No. Two hours. No. The drone didn't work. Oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no. VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. Oh, she's gone. Now, give him a break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right? You're not going to miss your kid's graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know, Nicholas, why he would never do something like that. What, graduate? <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're gonna be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good, long while. We're gonna be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. Hi, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right. Let's go. Oh, the kitty. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to. Believe me. Uh, so what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. And I guess what's important is. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. Attention, subcontractor. I am now overseeing entity of this operation. You report to me. Contractor shall return all Venturius AI components to specified delivery location immediately. Contractor shall purge all confidential data data 
Dater. <laughs> Counter while on Ventura's property. I trust there is no need to remind you of your severe of the severe consequences for deviating from the above. Be seeing you soon, Juno. Got the dater. Boop. Minnie, I'm back. Okay. Oh, I forgot about Minnie. Where did I get this from? What? Oh, is this from the sample out? Ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. Launch sequence. Yeah, it's Odin. I was so caught up in the story, I didn't even remember it. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI? Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative? I would say that I- Political asylum. Woo. Okay, buddy. Here we go. We're the neutral guys. <laughs> 